Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you a bit about myself and my syndrome. So I have a syndrome called Marcus Gunn Syndrome. I will put that in the video, trust me. And it um, is a really, it's a, it is a rare genetic disorder that is usually um, presented at birth. So getting a bloodshot eye for instance and stuff. And um, it is created when you move your mouth. So, like, for instance, if I'm really tired, it will happen. But let me tell you a bit about it and how it works. So, I have a vein connected to my mouth to my jaw, to um, my mouth to my eye. And so, it is pretty cool. But, um, it's... So, when I eat or move my mouth a certain way my eye goes up and down in this one and um i'm gonna show you right now and help you for like if people pick on you and stuff for it because i think that you can be stronger than just being really upset and like upset about upset about it like so first of all i'm gonna show you not many people have this, but I'm going to move my mouth two ways. And I'll show you. It's this eye, so watch closely. So this is one way. And this is the other way. So usually when I eat, I don't eat like that, trust me. But when I eat, it goes up and down. And if I'm really tired and I'm talking or I'm eating, it will be more noticeable. But you can, you can find more easier ways to control it. So if you practice in the mirror and... Just practice, like, making it stop, which is what I've done kind of in the past years when I got it. So when I was born, I was born with a bloodshot eye. And then I had all these tests done on me. But otherwise I was fine. And then I got to school and I was getting picked on and everything. But when I got home, my mum told me if I get picked on again, that I can give them some comebacks. So mum gave me a lot of comebacks to use and say something like, well, I bet you you can't wink and eat at the same time, or things like, no one cares, when did I ask, and things like that. But it has helped over the past couple of years, trust me. And I remember when I was struggling a lot with this stuff, I called this lady in London, and she has the same disorder as me, and um, she helped me a lot with it. Like, we were giving... I would call her a lot um, to ask her for tips and um, she said be proud of it don't be upset and be proud of it make sure that you own it you this is you like don't be upset don't like be yourself pretend it's not there pretend it's like nothing like it's just who knows anything you can think of and just if you have any troubles or anything um you can just say, well, I bet you, you can't eat and wink at the same time, like I said before. And it helps, trust me. And I reckon if you become like me and much stronger and, like, believe in yourself and not, like, be really upset about when people pick on you and stuff, I bet you, you can become amazing at it. Trust me. So a lot of people get really upset if they get picked on. But if your friend has Marcus Gunn syndrome, you can say, stop being mean to them. I bet you, you can't eat, wink at the same time. How about you have a go? And even now I get picked on, but by my parents, because we just have this random joke. And it's fine. Like, I don't know. <laughs> so like, Marcus Gunn syndrome, I swear, it is the best thing that ever happened to me because I've had a lot of troubles, but it makes me me. It makes me feel like I'm my own person and that I'm not like everyone else who has to be perfect. I'm not perfect. I've got a lot of things, but it's like... I don't know how to explain it. It's amazing being myself, not being... Trying to be like the other kids at my school, being like the cool kids and like say being like those people who are like oh my god look at me look at me i like being my own self mm -hmm. and i reckon you would be too instead of being pressured and stuff so i think if you need any help come to me and i'll help you thank you for watching i hope this really helps you um 
and yeah so bye